Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to do, well, continue with my complete Arrow video movie collection. So in this episode, going to be very short because I'm going to do my window box editions. So window box editions is how I discovered Arrow video. And I only have a handful, how many do I have? Uh, six titles. Uh, so these were the first ever editions I discovered on Arrow Video, and I'll show you the uh, first one I bought shortly. Uh, but this was how I discovered the Blu-ray releases in Arrow, and they did quite a few releases. Some go for crazy money now, such as the Dawn of the Dead edition, which I believe the history goes that they lost a number of those copies during the London riots many years ago, where the warehouse burned down. So the Dawn of the Dead Blu-ray and the Savage Streets DVD was part of that inventory and quite a few got destroyed. So that's why they go for ridiculous amounts. Some days, for example, I might bore you here, but Dawn of the Dead, uh, I've been given a counter offer of £45 for one at the moment. And I was watching one on eBay the other day and it sold for 122 So the market goes all over the place with the value of those. And uh, I think with Arrow's 10 year anniversary, the popularity at the moment, I think people are going a bit crazy. And I'm holding off buying it because Second Sight are releasing a edition late this year. But anyway, enough blabbering on. So yes, Deep Red, Dario Argento. So this is, since this release has been released again in a remastered, I think it's a four in a 4K transfer, uh, Deep Red. Uh, but this was the original one I picked up. As you can see there so if you're not uh, familiar with window box editions uh, kind of a bit of self-explanatory by see by the outer package so you get your standard amore case which is up there but then you get an outer slip cover an outer sleeve which has a plastic front hence the window box name and uh, that's the reverse art well the back of the artwork so it, and what it does here is you can see here this sleeve gives you four different alternative um, artworks so you can choose which ones you display which is a really nifty idea the fact that you, it gives you four different variants and you can choose which one you prefer to display <clears throat> so this is a two disc edition I believe so you can see very early Arrow you know it was very much the cultlabs.com and cult films uh, but yep there we go there's the deep red slip cover so that's what I'm talking about that's the cover I display but if you turn it around you got the original poster art, and then these window box editions uh, came with a poster, uh, which is here, which is the two covers I've just shown you. Get rid of that. Also comes with a booklet, uh, an arrow in the early releases always had this white border. So, yep, and you've got the two discs, two Blu rays. Uh, different cuts. So as you see there, if I just remove this disc, there's some the Italian native Profondo Rosso. Uh, so yeah, really good additions to the window box. I'm not sure if everyone came like this. To be honest, I'm not an expert, but uh, yeah, deep red. That's the first one. I'll jump into this one. So this one is how I got into our video. This is City of the Living Dead. This is. I saw this one day in HMV in the horror section and it was reduced to like £7 and it was the artwork which drew me in and the fact that it had the living dead in the title never heard of this movie before then and this was years and years and years ago and it played on my mind and it played on my mind that I saw this and I didn't buy it then and then uh, there and then and it just happened to be the wife was in town and I asked her to pop back in and pick me up because it was just playing on my mind this edition which I looked at and it, the artwork and I'm a sucker for packaging so there we go again four different cover arts two three four let's open it up if I can get it out oh. so this one again poster I love the gates of hell poster there we go and again different type ah oh, there we go don't even show some art cards there we go so look at that that's old school so that's the dawn of the dead edition which i so desperately want but i'm being a tight arse and won't pay the 50 quid 
the Day of the Dead edition and previous DVD releases like Martin again coming out on Second Sight. Oh, and that goes for a pretty penny even on DVD. So I'm assuming they're art cards. Uh, Booklet again. A film which is fantastic, great score, great cinematography, and kind of makes no sense. So, yeah, See the Living Dead, the one that started it all for me in my Arrow collection. All right, next up is a Dolph Lundgren action flick, and it's Red Scorpion. Lovely artwork there by Thomas Hodge, aka the Dude Designs. I've talked about him before. He did a lot of the earlier Arrow work. Again, there's the back showing the four different dis artwork displays. Game looks to come with a poster. Just do a quick opening. Get rid of the window box. There's one artwork. Looks like an original movie poster. It looks like a proper Rambo ripoff. Ah, look at that. So I'm rediscovering it all again. A Blu ray and DVD catalogue. So there we go. Arrow Drone releases. I showed you some of them in my DVD. Look at that. Yeah, look, there's all the original. I might have to go for a full collection now. I think it's Zombie Flesh Eaters is the rarest one in the window box editions. I think it goes for crazy money, about 100 plus quid. I love the Demons ones as well. I don't think they're window box, it's just a solid slip. But they're in black. So yeah, you know, you don't get this sort of stuff anymore. You go to the catalogues. Look at the DVDs. Even then, look, out of print. Out of print. So anyway, yep. There we go, and again looks to be poster booklet so even back in the early releases they were packing the releases with some fantastic let's see if i can see when this was released duh, 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 duh. 2012 well, i'm assuming that's when it is original art by tom hodge so yeah 2012 that's what seven years ago anyway so there we go red scorpion great action flick ah right next is a fantastic vampire movie vamp Starring that crazy lady, forget what her name is now, Grace Jones, that's it. That guy there, I can't remember his name, but I remembered at a London film and Comic Con, he was there. And he was mental, he was proper getting into the crowd, stood behind his desk chatting to everyone. This again has been re, re, uh, redone by our video. And re, uh, I think again a remaster. And there's something about the cropping, if I remember so you correct, the cropping was an issue on this. So yeah, there's the back. Great vampire movie, certainly in my top 10 vampire movies. I mean, that's great artwork as well. Gosh, she played weird, she was fucking weird, Grace Jones in this. And again, ah, yep, yeah, see, the Do Designs. That's Do Designs artwork, fantastic. Looks to be just a single disc release here. And again, artwork, multiple covers, you kind of get the idea. And last two, yeah. Frankenhooker, crazy movie, really crazy, but so much fun. I have such a good time with this. You know, I wish they still did these window box editions. They're so good. So yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that artwork. There we go. Open her up. Booklet, poster. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Frankenhooker. Who was the director of this? Frank Henenlotter? Yeah, he also did, uh, what was that one? The Trilogy Basket Case, that's it. But yeah, and last but not least, Maniac Cop. Again, it's all about the artwork. I just love the fact that you have options to swap it over. Oh, there's another catalog, lob that out. But yeah, you can just swap it over. It just gives you, I just think it's such a great thing. So there we go, let's have a look at the back. You can imagine there's someone like me, a, a Blu-ray collector going in, just going through the shelves at H&V, seeing these editions and just wanting to discover these movies. So there we go, there's the inside. Poster, booklet, one or two disc, I can't remember what this one is. One disc, so yeah, there we go. There's a quick overview, I only have, oh, only have the six but i must admit they are six fantastic editions so there we go quick overview of my arrow video window box stay tuned i think next i will do my slip cover collection so right i'll speak to you soon peace